Tonight, community members in Cresswell are seeking answers after a month of controversy and division sparked by an unpermitted 4th of July parade. KZI 9 News reporter Grace Smith spoke with community members who hope leaders will set an example by coming together. After this year's controversial 4th of July parade, the city of Cresswell is divided and even community leaders aren't on the same page, which is causing an even bigger divide. In an open letter to Mayor Knudsen on Facebook, Councilor Joe Medea is calling for Mayor Knudsen to change her actions. He writes in part, quote, She has shown a lack of respect for the people of this town as she has stated multiple times that she does not trust the people of this town to make their own choices. Having this mindset in a city manager is dangerous and needs to be changed, end quote. Now, some people are telling me the aftermath of the 4th of July parade is being blown out of proportion, while others say that the unpermitted event should have never even happened in the first place. But one thing is clear. Community members are seeking answers from their leaders. One resident named Ian Gowaltney even showed me a letter he sent to the city council asking for change. Quote, my complaint is that the city leaders should have taken the bull by the horns, should have maybe reached out to make this event more of a success if that involves granting a last minute permit to make sure this happens in a safe, orderly manner, so be it. In terms of how the community is feeling right now. It seems like everything's getting worse for people just bickering about almost useless things. I reached out to Mayor Knutson and Councilor Medea, but did not hear back. Reporting in Cresswell, Grace Smith, KEZI 9 News.